Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Steven Wonderboy Thompson versus Joaquin Buckley. Uh, Steven Wonderboy Thompson, 17 wins, 7 losses. Oops, let me fucking fix that again. My goodness. Uh, yeah, 17 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, 2 and 3 in his last 5 fights, 1 and 3 in his last 4, plus 160 underdog. 41 years old, six foot tall with a 75 inch reach. Fighting Joaquin Buckley, 19 and 6, 4 and 1 in his last five fights. That last loss was against Chris Curtis a little over a year and a half ago. He was flatlined. Thank you, Chris Curtis. Minus 190 favorite, 30 years old, 5'10 with a 76 inch reach. A couple inches in height for Wonderboy with a one inch reach for Buckley. The biggest thing for this one is. Wonderboy has to watch out for the hooks of Joaquin Buckley. That's that's the name of the game for this one. It's Thompson Straits against Joaquin's hooks. You know, Joaquin does a really good job of disguising his, that that head kick that he has. Disguising, so he does he does throw some straights, but if you watch some of his fights, when people crash into him, he kind of tends to reach for takedowns or reach for the clinch. Not like Muay Thai clinch, but reach to like um, um, a body, get body locks, get get some type of control back. You know, with Wonderboy, obviously, he has the good footwork, he has the sidekick, all of these things. I think Wonderboy needs to be careful with using that sidekick, simply just because if Joaquin can time that correctly, he can really throw something flashy and catch Wonderboy. Wonderboy, in his last fight against Shopkat Rachmanov, was kind of just out grappled. I don't see that happening with Joaquin Buckley, he's not that much of a grappler, at least on that level. Now, will he get Wonderboy down? Very possibly. Very possibly. He's strong. He's decent. You know, um, Kevin Holland destroyed uh, Joaquin Buckley. Thank you, Kevin Holland. Before that, Bilal Muhammad grappled him. Gilbert Burns grappled him. Before that, big win over Jeff Neal. So, with Joaquin Buckley, the name of the game is, is I thought uh, Joaquin had a really hard time with the length and the height of uh, Rizabayov. And he's kind of fighting that a little bit in this one with Thompson, a guy that uh, can, uh, understands range and you know distance and where to strike, where not to strike. The one thing is, is I don't know if Wonderboy can take the same damage, obviously, as he used to as being an older guy. The one flip side of that is, Wonder Boy hasn't been fighting as much. I mean, his last fight was nine months ago. Before that, it was a year and nine months ago. Before that, it was two years and nine months ago. So he's fighting like every year. So, you know, fighting the guy that Joaquin Buckley, like a, like a guy like Joaquin Buckley, who has a lot of confidence right now, is a little over himself, a little stuck up on himself. <laughs> I'm worried that Wonderboy Thompson's gonna go in there, and 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 keep his head, keep his chin in the pocket a little bit too long, and because that reaction might be down a little bit, I'm worried that he ends up getting caught, trying to exit, almost like he did with Anthony Pettis. He committed himself a little bit too much. He didn't get out of the way, and then Joaquin Buckley finds a shot and hurts him. Even if you just lose the decision because of that, it's still the same thing that I'm talking about. I I, I want Wonder Boy to win. I, I think Wonder Boy does win, but I'm worried. I'm worried. Plus 160 underdog, not terrible. That's not crazy high. Yeah, I understand Joaquin being the favorite in this one simply because he's been more active. I, I get it, 100%. But Thompson, a good version of Thompson should be able to find that chin of Joaquin Buckley. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. And as always, peace.